Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Full from Iron. I am Gatesy, your host. Uh, thanks for joining me. And please don't forget, as it says on the banner there, to like, comment on, and share this stream. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And please hit that bell icon and you will be notified of any alerts as and when we go live or add any content to the channel. And as always, guys, we thank you very much indeed for your support. We're here to discuss the matters that will be taking place on Thursday, I know we normally do our match previews the day before. Tomorrow, I'm going to be lucky enough to be travelling to Leon to to hopefully watch the game. We'll see. Um, UEFA Europa League quarterfinal second leg. Olympic Lyonnais are the opponents at the Groupama Stadium. It's locked at 1-1 from the first game, obviously, last week at the London Stadium. We were down to 10 men for... Pretty well for all of the second half it, and uh, obviously we had the, the result at the weekend which didn't go according to plan but all that's forgotten about now we're going to go to the Group Armour Stadium and hopefully look to progress to the last four of a European competition which sounds absolutely crazy when I think about the progress that we've made in the last two years from a relegation from a relegation threatened team pre-lockdown and here we are and we're one game away from being in the last four of a major European competition. It, it's really incredible the, the progress that we've made. But we've got one more hurdle to clear. Anyway, I'm going to have a little look in the live chat. Um, Duke may well join us at some point. Um, he, he's been buzzing around. He, he might pop in. Um, we just have to wait and see what happens. Let's have a look who's in the live chat. Um, Budgie, he says he'll try and join him, but he's traveling. No problem, mate. It's uh, it's absolutely fine. If you can contribute, not a problem. If not, it is what it is. Um, Hammerhead's in the building. Oi, oi, Savaloy. How you doing, old son? Um, and he's uh, paying a compliment to the intro. Yeah, it took me a while to put it together. It has to be said. And I, I tried to sort of get little clips that I thought would resonate with, with people. And I, I think I did, or I think I did a reasonable enough job. Um, Kent says, uh, lack of investment coming home to roost. You can only flog a horse for so long. Yeah, there, there is that. And obviously, we've had the news in the last hour or two that Kurt Zuma is definitely out. He he rolled his ankle against Brentford. And we were all keeping our fingers crossed that Kurt would be available for this game against his uh, his countrymen. Sadly, it's not to be. Well, we just got to get on with it. We just got to dust ourselves down. We just got to get on with it. No one's going to feel sorry for us. We just got to crack on. Um, Turf Morehouse, Dan, hope you're well. And uh, I'll be sending you a message a little bit later because, as I say, I want to get Dan and, and I to do a little uh, something because, uh, obviously, he's a Burnley fan and we've got Burnley on, on Sunday. So I'm looking to try and get him on the channel and possibly vice versa. I can go on his channel. A little bit of a sort of swap of... Uh, of talent, if you will. Um, says, can't stay long as one of Paul's card at 8.15. Looking forward to chatting with you guys later in the week. Absolutely. Absolutely, mate. I'm looking forward to that. Mr. Miles, hope you are well. How am I? I am making sure I've got my passport, making sure I've got me tickets, packing me bag, all, all of that, making sure that I've got all of the, the housekeeping done. Um, I'm going to be leaving. I mean, my train... The Eurostar pulls out of St Pancras. It's supposed to be around about half past one in the afternoon. Me being me, I like to try and get, I'm going to get to St Pancras a little bit early, stretch my legs, might have a spot of lunch. And then obviously, because we can, um, it says you've got to be there. Mm, departure gates open 90 minutes before. And then uh, you need to be there half an hour before or something like that. Um, I can jump on for 20 minutes or so. I'll tell you what, mate, just sit tight. Um, I'm just going to waffle on for a little bit because I will, by the wonder of, of modern technology, I can send you the link and you can enter the studio if you so wish. Um, bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is this is what happens when you're live streaming. Um, I'll just send you the link, Mr. Miles. Where are you? There you are on WhatsApp and bang. There you go. Right. Who else we got? Mr. Walsh. Hope you're well. Hope you are fit and well. Wally, you're looking well as ever. <laughs> um, do you reckon Fredericks is going to play tomorrow? I'm not so sure. I'm going to get my, my team sheet up in a minute. It's uh, I don't think Fredericks is going to start, but 
We'll see. We'll see. I know you're you're a Fredericks fan, Wally. So, um, Dave, I'm I'm glad you approve. And uh, like I say, it was it was a labour of love. I wanted to try and get some. Re- uh, there was there was lots of clips that I could have included, and I just I couldn't fit it all in. Um, I wanted to get as many good moments in our history into a sort of two two and a half minute intro, and uh, I think I managed it. I think I managed it. Anyway, right. Okay, let me get this up on the screen and get rid of that banner right there. So this is my prediction. And Kent is jumping straight in and says he'd play free at the back. Um, not sure. Not sure. Because the last few times we've played three at the back, Kent, I don't think it's gone too well, to be perfectly honest with you. Anyway, so this is my prediction. And guys, if, if you want to get your prediction in, in the live chat, get your formation in, get your personnel in, please do. And we'll we'll go through it together. But this is my prediction. So Alphonse Ariola in goal, pretty standard in the Europa League. Back four, I believe. Ben Johnson on the left, Vladimir Kufal on the right. And the centre-back pairing will be Issa Diop and Craig Dawson. In front of them, I suspect it will be Declan Rice with the captain's armband and Thomas Socek alongside him. Then in front of them, left it will be Pablo Fornells, right it will be Jared Bowen. The number 10 will be Manuel Lanzini and Mikhail Antonio will be the number nine. Now, around about an hour ago, I did have Kurt Zuma in because I thought if he's even 70-80% fit, he's that good he's that important to us then he has to play obviously it came out in the last hour or so that he's not so we'll see um while he's saying fredericks must start start but will it will be koof out but he's asking the question is johnson fit um there are question marks i think that johnson's done enough in in my opinion um but kent says he's heard that johnson is injured don't know how true and again it's one of those to what degree is he injured is it an injury like that he can get away with having a cortisone injection or whatever it is they have now to to get him through the 90 minutes i i don't know he's a young fit lad and like i say this is just a prediction this is just maybe it will happen maybe it won't maybe we'll find out during the course of of the next sort of like few hours or whatever the next day that x player is injured y player won't won't make it this player struggling whatever but this is like i say this is my prediction and i commend it to the house as they say okay so now although we've got problems because obviously cresswell is suspended um zuma's injured uh, is, there's a few problems that we've got however it has to be noted that Olympique Lyonnais or Lyon are struggling themselves. So their goalkeeper in the first leg, Anthony Lopez, he was taken off after half an hour. They played Strasbourg at the weekend. And Tangi and Dombele, who obviously scored, and Hussem Awa were also injury casualties. Um, and just as I say that, it's just a little noise because Mr. Miles has just joined me. Hello, Mr. Miles. How are you? Hello, mate. You good? Oh, what's going on here? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm back now. I'm back. Okay. Sorry. My bad. Sorry. Right. No, that's cool. Um, so this is this is what I've put out. I'll tell you what, I'll just back up because I don't know whether you saw. This is this is the, the 11 that I've gone with. I mean, there's whispers about Ben Johnson possibly being injured and whatever else. We know that Zoom is out. I don't suspect that it will be Ben Rama that will start. I I think it will be for Nels for his work rate. Lanzini, because obviously he can pick a pass. He can unlock unlock the door for the other attacking players. I think he'll be in the 10. Jared Bowen picks himself. And whether you think Mikhail Antonio picks himself or not, you just know that David Moyes is going to put him as the number nine. And everybody else is is pretty much nailed on, more or less, you would suspect. What's your thoughts? Oh, no, I, I agree, mate. Uh, the only one is, like you said, if Ben Johnson um, is injured, the only one or, or maybe you can see is probably uh, Longello maybe coming in. Um, that's the only one I can think of. I think he will travel. I reckon Ashby and Longello will, will travel. And that's the, only, that's the only thing what I could see or like you could see is maybe Alessi 
that's what a lot of people are putting out now as a back. I know we sort of said it the other night, yesterday, wasn't it? I, I could maybe see a back three, and with Fournells playing as a left wing back, he's done that pr- well, a number of times. He's he's yeah. about playing a three, but the last few times we've we've deployed that system, it's not really gone ver- according to plan, has it? No, it hasn't. But like you said, um, do you know what? It's the Diop's getting a lot of stick, and, and my parents we was actually talking about it earlier. In fact, they used to play in France. It's not a Premier League game, and in the Europa League, apart from the Genk game, I think it's been outstanding when called upon as well. So I'm not actually uh, obviously Zoom is a big loss, but I'm not actually as worried as what. A lot of people may be, mate. Okay, fair enough. All right, we'll just go back to the what I was saying before you popped on for the uh, Leon team. Their goalkeeper yeah. was taken off injured at the weekend against Strasbourg. Tangi and Dombele and Hussein Alwa were also injuries in that same contest. Um, however, I do think that Ndombele is very likely to make it. Um, mm. So their goalkeeper will be um, Julian Pollersbeck. Um, the back four will be Emerson, Lekeba, Boateng and Gusto. He really impressed me. I was very impressed with him in the first leg. I don't know about you, Marzi, yeah. but he, no, he stood out. 18 years of age, if you please. Wow. Yeah. I talk about um, open the shop window for the Premier League. <laughs> mm, oh, mate. Yeah, massively. Um, in front of them, as I say, I think Ndombele will start against us, sadly. Um, and Mendes will be his partner at the double pivot. Um, Toko Ikami will come in at the left. He's the top or the joint top goal scorer in this competition. I think he will he will start tomorrow. Paqueta mm-hmm. will be the 10 and Favre will be on the right with the winker up top. Moussa Dembele. Is he, did he go off injured man. as well? Dembele? Or was, or was it um, Dembele? I'm getting mixed. There was two injuries. No, who was like, what, no it was Ndombele. All oh, right, my bad. No, no, that's cool. It was Lopez and Dombele and Alwa, who were the three that came off against Strasbourg. Mm. So, but yeah, I mean, like I say, they're not exactly, you know, in in full health and and firing. I mean, we've got problems, yes, but do you know what? They've got problems as well. Mm. No, do you know what? I'm still feeling confident, Kate. I really do think we're going to get the job done. I just think the way the ref was heavily involved, mm. I think I think we will. I think we will get the job done. Well, saying about the ref, because I've got a little bit of information on this, mm. that are those are the officials, and you'll notice Felix Zwayer's name is not amongst it. Hooray! I hear <laughs> everybody say, "Yep, mm. the referee." Now, the referee is the guy that was in charge of the first leg against Seville, and he actually was praised by David Moyes. Because he he basically didn't interrupt the flow of the game too much. He let the game flow. Um, So it's Sandro Shara. He's a Swiss referee. His assistants were also Swiss. Um, Beckham Zogaj and Jan Cobelli. Easy for you to say. Fourth official will be from Italy. Davide Massa with the VAR and the assistant VAR also being from Italy. Marco Di Bello and Paolo Valeri. I think Angelo Agbonna. I think, think Angelo Agbonna and Di Canio will be on the phone to them. Fourth yep. official and VAR. I think, mate. Yeah, yeah, and maybe maybe uh, Valon Barani uh, can have a word yeah, with the Swiss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but at least at least it's not that mug that we had last week. Honestly, I know, he was. I know. It's poor. Um, but I mean, saying that, though, okay, Gatesy, you'd rather, if we were going to have him, you'd rather have him in the first leg. Imagine if we were chasing the game and we had that to deal with when, when we were yeah. actually chasing it. So it's all swings and roundabouts. Yeah. I'd just be interested, Kent. If you, you're saying about playing free at the back. Wing backs must stay high and be brave. As I say, I'd be really interested if you could give us your your predicted 11. Who would yeah. be your wing backs? Would, you, would it be... Uh, you know, Pablo Fornells. I mean, he played at, at left wing back not so long ago. Um, would it be Ben Johnson? Would it be Fredericks? Who give it? Give, as I say, if you could give us your eleven and your everyone formation. else as well, put your predicted yeah, eleven. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Stick it in. Stick it yeah. in. We'll go through it together and we'll pick the bones out of it. Is the frog Leon's mascot? I'm saying nothing, Wally. It's a little bit of banter. That's all it is. It's nothing meant with any offence. It's just a little bit. Wonder of whether they're going to have any dark colour orange. 
Um, I, I might try a little bit. <laughs> I've turned around and said, I'm, I'm certainly going on the Friday. I'm definitely going to have a little go around Leon, stretch my legs and maybe check out the old boulangeries and all the rest of it. Um, Walshie's saying it's going to be a tough night, but Walshie, honestly, they've got injury problems as well. It's going to be just as tough for them. In, in you know, Mikel Antonio is going to have the game of his flipping life mm. on, yeah. on Thursday. He's been so dreadful and then he's just going to turn up. Yeah. What did you think of Paquetta in the first leg, Miles? He, he, he did stand out as well. He, he reminded me of a younger Lanzini. Do you know, when we first mm -hmm. got him, swifting in and out, made, made it look very easy. And the one thing what you will say, a lot of people, we've, we've, we've sort of done it. I remember us getting a few results when we've, uh, we're playing against 10 men. It can be very difficult sometimes, but they made it look very easy. They were passing the ball around for fun, and I never knew they had that in that locker. I sort of, you sort of know French football, but they were playing at pace as well. But no, Paquetta uh, was good. Yeah, yeah. Wally makes the point. Hopefully, the ref will just ignore them. As I say, Wally, he was the ref in the first leg. Although we lost the game, as I say, David Moyes was quite fulsome in his praise for this guy because he just said he let the game flow. Um, so I don't think he's going to fall for all of their nonsense that they did in the first leg of the rolling around and screaming and, and just basically being a pain in the ass. I just don't think that he'll let them have the license yeah. that Felix Zweier did. No, I agree. But there you go. What else have I got in the locker? Let's have a little wee look. That there, ladies and gentlemen, is the form of the respective combatants, both in Europa League and in all competitions. Malsey, what, what are you thinking when you see that? Is there a team that has a distinct advantage over the other? Uh, I, think, I, think, I think it isn't because we both played on Sunday, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's not like someone's had an extra... Because if you noticed in the French League... When normally when when PSG are playing the following week in the Champions League, they normally put them on on the Friday, so they get that extra few days rest. But the fact that we haven't, I don't think uh, evening peach. I don't think that will do. Sunday's game, I'm not actually too worried about, to be honest. The fact that they drew the game, it's it, it's it's a one-off game. It's a cup final. We've mm. we've seen it in the past, haven't we? You you teams are on a I remember Crystal Palace. Remember when they got to the FA Cup final? They were shocking yep. in the league, but then they just turned results up in cup competitions. So uh, I don't think that that pays anything to do with it. It's a one-off game. And I think, like you said, David Moyes' team talk, or anyone, would just be, look look what they've done to us last week. And let's do it for Creswell as well, because I think he's suffering deep down, I think. Oh, massively. Massively. Uh, you're not being funny. A, a European quarter final. Second I'd league. still take Pretty him. Cool. I hope he goes as well, just to be around the squad. He's a senior figure. Would. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? I hope I hope he does that and he'll, he'll be uh, in their ear. But like you said, I'm going to say the dreaded M word. I hope he's not playing. And if you're going to put someone in, you put Longello in. If you're going to go for left footer, if Johnson's not available. Fair, fair. Kent's come in with his team. Tit, I think he means Ariola. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. it looks like he would go with four nows as a left wing back. If I'm reading this correctly, Diop Dawson and Kufau as the center backs and Fredericks as the right wing back, mm -hmm. Thomas Deck, Lanzini, Bowen, Antonio. Hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Marzi? That could work. That could work as well. Okay. That really could. I remember, was it, was it Man United? In the FA Cup last year, when Sufal sort of slotted in there, didn't he, as a yes. centre back? And, and, uh, and Diop both went off injured, didn't yeah, they? And he yeah, slotted yeah. in as a right centre back. No, I, I, I think I think that could be not just his position for Thursday, even going forward. I think if he has a good perform, that that'll be another way. But for me, sorry, Wally, but if you are going to put someone in, I'll put Ashby in there instead of Fredericks. I think Ashby offers both going forward and defence. I think I think Fredericks done well on the Everton game. It was the Everton game, wasn't it? Yeah, Everton game. Yeah. And, and but yeah, for me, I, I'm just a huge fan of him, and I'd love love it. I, I would play. I, I would play Ashby instead of Fredericks. That would be my only change. Do you know? I was having a conversation with someone earlier today, and Arison Ashby's name came up in the conversation actually. Yeah. And David Moyes is, is on record as saying that. Harrison Ashby is the closest of the under-23s to making the breakthrough. Mm. Yet, 
he's he's played precious little Premier League minutes. I think he played a couple of he played a little spell, didn't he, away at the Emirates when um, Kufal got sent off. Yeah, and he played in the League Cup game away to Spurs. But as far as Premier League minutes is concerned, quite scarce. And what, what do you think the reason is? I mean, if he's that close to the first team, why is he not <sighs> utilised him, especially in games where the clock's ticking? He's sitting on the bench. The game's already decided. We've either won or we've lost, and 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 the, the result is irretrievable. Last five ten minutes, what's the harm? I think he's saving him for next season, which you're probably going to say that's a get out of jail card for me. Sorry, Wally, I can't see Frederick's contract getting renewed, especially with the money what he's on, unless he takes like half a pay cut. From my understanding, he's on about seventy grand a week, so that's a lot of money for a player who's not in your first team and not playing. So for me, I would see him pecking up the order um, because technically I could see him leapfrogging Ben Johnson next season for right back. So it'll be him versus Seafal, in my opinion. You think it will be uh, Ashby as as the the, the, the right back the that's back. vying with, so you think it will be Johnson versus Cresswell on the other side, essentially? Yeah, or, or, or third choice for right back. I, I love Ben Johnson. I really do. But, I just Perfect. think uh, I, I, I've just got a personal preference of Ben Johnson's great. I think defensively he's great. But if I had to pick going forward, that's what you want. You look at Trent, look at Carl Walker. What do they do? One touch, get the ball out their feet and they're crossing the ball in. So that's, that's just my personal preference. But like an arsehole, everyone's got an opinion. This is very true. <laughs> this is very true. Should we get into the nuggets, Milesy? Yeah, go on in, mate. Let's get into the nuggets. Here we go. So, Leon and West Ham met for the first time in Europe last time out. It was only the sixth time that Leon have drawn away from home in the first leg of a European knockout tie, progressing in three of the previous five instances, most recently against Shona Moretz, Odessa in this competition, 2013-2014. Doesn't mean an awful lot, though, that does it, to be fair. I mean, who's ever heard of Shona Moretz, Odessa? Sounds like a curry. It does a little bit. I, I, either that or it's, it's, it's some sort of sexually transmitted disease. I don't know. <laughs> you, should, you, should, you should ask them when you go to Leon. Have you got any of your hands on? I'll, I'll see what they say. They'll probably look at me very strange. I, I might have to perfect my French accent as well to make them understand me. Either that or just what, shout. What, they call it Dakar Laurent, like what we do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's canard. Um, West Ham failed to win the first leg of a major... European knockout tie when playing at home for the fourth time. They were eliminated in each of the three previous three instances. One of them was before I was born, in fairness, 1965-66 yeah. against Borussia Dortmund. And yes, that was before I was born, whatever Duke will tell you. 80-81 <laughs> uh, versus Dynamo Tbilisi and 2006-07 against Palermo. Um, oh, that seems Dynamo such a long Tbilisi. way away from Palermo. Palermo, yeah. Palermo seems... Dynamo Tbilisi, I remember my old man telling me, and Kieran actually. I was Are they Israeli? No, they were Georgian or part of the. Oh, old, it was the Soviet Union when it was played yeah. with Georgia now. Um, yeah. And I, I said to Kieran about it because Kieran was there as well. And I turned around and said, My dad told me that after the game had finished at Upton Park and we were beat 4 um, 1, the, the fans actually applauded him off. And Kieran said, Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember Kieran telling me that, actually. Yeah, that brings back memories. He said it's they mad, played like it? Real Madrid. It was <laughs> unbelievable. Um, just before I go to the next nugget, Kent says, uh, Ashby Frederick's replacement to save money as I've got a horrible feeling money will be very tight. I have also got that fear. I hope I'm proved wrong. Um, Wally comes back at you and says that he agrees with you that he won't, Fredericks won't get a new contract. It's just been very unlucky, to be honest. Like, like me and you, I think we said it last year when a when a Paul, when when uh, called upon. He's actually has been very good, but I just think the contract what he's on, uh, it, it, it's just that. And like you said, he he is he's not injury prone, but he's known to an in, he, he's not. He's but he's unlucky, known to, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, oh, hello, Kent's come in. What's this? Shevadzi Kipani and. Okay, <laughs> I've got no idea. My jewel is that like Kent. a bribery? Maybe, maybe I've got no idea. 
Ken, my my Georgian is I'm I'm, I'm struggling with English for Christ's sakes, mate. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah you're better than name pronouncing than what I do. I have to put in Google Translator a few times, and then like put it in the like just to confirm. What, what did we do before Google Translate? Uh, uh, I know. Leon mate. played nine, won six, drew three, lost zero. Are one of only two sides yet to lose in the UEFA Europa League this season, having come through the group stages along with Eintracht Frankfurt. It's the third time they've gone nine games without defeat in a single season in a major European competition. 2013-14 Europa League, 2005-06 Champions League. Never going 10 such games without a loss. That's a pretty impressive record, it has to be said. Yeah, I remember it. Do you remember Janino who used to play for him, the free kick maestro? Oh, uh, Janino Pernambucano. Uh, Yeah, I remember them. Yeah, I remember them. To be honest, I I, I did watch quite a, a lot of them a few years ago because they used to be like they they did play really good football and they've sort of since they PSG won the have, league in about seven years on the bounce, didn't they? Yeah, since PSG obviously got that money intake and uh, they've been quite quite a way off, but it's 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 them, isn't it? It's them, PSG, Monaco, and Ren. Really, are the four who have really got a chance. It's, it's like the German league. Yeah, there's no one else is really. But I, I've just I, I keep saying it. I think I think it's written in the stars for us to uh, to get the result. In my opinion. Well, keep keep your powder dry because we're going to do the the score predictions at the end. Yeah, yeah. So don't no yeah, spoilers, yeah, Milesy. Yeah. No, no, no spoilers. I won't. I'm trying. I've got. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm up. You should see, see me feet. They're going. They're like that. He's pitching away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> West Ham have lost each of their last three knockout stage away games in major European competition, failing to score in all three matches. 99-2000 versus Stoya Bucharest in the UEFA Cup, 2006-7 against Palermo in the UEFA Cup, and in the last round against Seville. Not a great track record, I'm afraid. Mm, It's all stats. It's all stats, don't worry. Yeah, record is there to be broken. Yeah, yeah, Palermo Palermo was just uh, mad, and obviously, uh, but uh, the one in the UEFA Cup that was the biggest shock. I think the ninety nine two thousand against how we rest. Yeah, I know they were a good side, but we just, as they said, wasn't it? The likes of Di Canio just didn't like playing away from home, and that sort of cost us. Yeah. Yeah, was it was it two nil we lost the first leg? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah for a and then we drew nil nil at home on the second. Yep. Uh, that's, yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I, re- I remember that wasn't the greatest performance yeah. I've ever witnessed. It has to be said. Um, Leon have only failed to score in one of their last twenty eight matches in the UEFA Europa League. With that game coming away to Atalanta in the group stages in twenty seventeen eighteen, they haven't failed to score at home in the competition since the quarterfinal match against Juventus in 2013-14. Oh, now that is the, that is quite a record. Again, it's, yeah. it's history, it's stats, and it's there to be broken. But they've but, got a bloody good record. But we've got Virgil van Dawson, who's ready to flipping take all them fuckers out on Thursday. He's indestructible, isn't he? I know. I know. I think he's the Terminator. Mm. I think he's he's been sent back in time to save West Ham. Yeah, he's a gladiator. I need to put him in a gladiator's outfit. <laughs> he is massively. He's yeah. he's just he he gets a whack and he's just like ah, it's fine. Just dusts himself down. Yeah. Whatever else you want to level at Craig Dawson, and and he's not the most technically gifted defender in the world. I'll give you that. But he's he's got balls the size of. He's probably the last one. I can't really think of anyone in the Premier League. Who's the old school to like now? He's is a it really? back, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He really is. The probably the closest one is probably someone who plays for like but like Tarkovsky or Ben Mee. They're sort yeah. of a bit of old school, but no one else really. Meat and potatoes type defender. Yeah. No frills, no spills, just kick it and head it as far away. How from good were them tackles though, what he done the last week? They oh, were class, weren't they? Beautiful. Oh, that and proper even got that the crowd up. He couldn't couldn't give a foul. Just couldn't. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I class. bet he wanted to. Yeah, I know. Uh, and that's it. That's that's the nuggets yeah. done. That is the nuggets done. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm going to ask Milesy for his score predictions. Please get this in the live chat. We'll get stuck in. Give us your score predictions. Give us 
give us your scorers. Give, give us anything you want to, to dissect and, and pick over. Um, Milesy, over to you. Give us, give us, how's this game panning out? Uh, we're going to win 3 1. Ooh. I, I really do. I, oh. think, I, I, I think they're going to score early. Okay. I think they'll score early. I think Dembele will score. I think he will if he if he he's likely to play. And I just think they're just going to have no nonsense. We've got to go, and I think Antonio will get a penalty. I think he'll get taken out. And then Mister Mister Reliable Lanzini is going to uh, going to score the penalty. And then I'm going to go for probably a goal scorer. You probably might not think I'm going to go for an Issa Diop header. Ooh. And it's up it's a Diop header and then Mr. West Ham himself, Declan Rice to get the third goal to, to seal it for us. Oh, hang on, hang on. Mr. West Ham. We've still got Mr. West Ham, his name's Mark Noble. But I'll call him Mr. West Ham as well. We you know what it means to him as well. Yeah. I I think yeah, I, yeah. I, I think I think Deck will score. I think I think what will happen is like you said, they're gonna try and get the get to the game. See it out, and then Dex is going to use all of the power what he seems to have every week, and just stride home and 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 seed it for us with a three-one victory. Fair and I'm enough. going to do that in a bet builder. I'm going to have to do that in a bet builder now. Oh, hello! Oh, Kent's come back in with a little bit. David Kipiani, Alexandre Chivadzi, Shengali were the three to be. Oh, okay. I, oh, okay. As I say, didn't. Didn't know that. I couldn't have told you any of the names of the players. As I say, I just know that my dad told me that it was one of the very few occasions that he was following West Ham when I was younger and he was younger as well, obviously, um, where he said that they actually, uh, the, the home fans actually applauded the away team off the pitch. Very, mm. very rarely that I've ever seen that or heard that happening. In fact, I don't think I've ever been there when it has, if I'm being honest. But there yeah. you go. Um, but uh, but that's me. No, I reckon well, Mister <laughs> Burford's gone two one, uh, an away win. Ariola from a goal kick and a Dembele <laughs> goal. <laughs> oh, brutal! You can brutal. tell we've been on the bevies over half time, can't you? Yeah, I know. Uh, put, put it down, Mister Burford. It won't do you any good. <laughs> um, Budgie's gone. He's gone the same scoreline, but he's saying this one's after extra time. I can't deal with extra time. I really can't. That's stressful. You're not going to like my prediction then. Um, <laughs> he's gone. Uh, Mark's gone three one away win. Rice and Bowen, and I'm guessing that's meant to be four, four now. Four. Mm. Um, Richard's just jumped in. Hope you're well, Richard. Um, what odds of that? I've got a five pound free bet, says Tom. Um, I've got no. What do you, you reckon you'll get for that, Milesy? What, Ariola to score? I don't think you can even bury him. Ariola goal goal kick scores from, and it's an own goal from Moussa Dembele. <laughs> God. No, be, I don't... Yeah. It'd be, don't. it'd be long odds, I've got to say. Um, Richard's gone nil one away win. Dawson header. Uh, what That would be written... Oh, that would be class if it was. Like, yeah. imagine that. What that would mean to... Kent, look, oh no, he, he's predicted this to lose after extra time. Glorious failure. Mm. Close, but no cigar. Um, loss with the odd goal in five. He's going for a free two. Wow, that'd be entertaining. It has to be said. Mm. But I think I'd rather I think I'd rather win one nil in a really dog shit match than a lose a, a five goal thriller. But, but Gacy, when was the last time we played shit and won? We we've not really like been like uh, when I mean like not, shit I mean proper shit yeah we haven't we, we we've not out. really yeah we've not really done that have we really do you remember last year we were scraping one nil wins or mm -hmm. and stuff like that we haven't really Fulham done that game, I remember the Fulham game at home when um, Lookman chipped the penalty to uh, <laughs> Fabianski but this season the, I can't really can't, I can't really remember I can't remember if if we've, we've played no. very well or yeah so oh, yeah we um, do a Wolfie. shit game and win. Walshie, you cynical bugger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding, mate. Listen, um, one nil away defeat. Yeah, it could happen. Um, hope not. Hope you're wrong. And I'm sure you hope you're wrong. But um, Elliot's in the building. Hope you're well, mate. Um, just to mark your card, Mr. Pearson, I've got a ticket for the away game at Norwich. Just 
putting it out there to you, mate. So have I. Um, I'm going as well. Oh, are you? I'll see you there, my friend. Um, Leon nil, West Ham four. Hat trick for Bowen and a goal for Antonio after 12, 13 games. I'd, mate, I'd, I'd take one. I honestly think Gatesy. If 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 Antonio doesn't turn up, we don't get the result. It's that it's it's that simple. Antonio needs to body them centre backs and get them like Bot Botang, especially needs to get him turning the other way, and that will give space for Fournells, Bowen, and Lanzini to exploit. If, if don't, Antonio don't turn up, we don't get the result. It's I'm pretty much as simple as that. I think. Well, Ken, that... if you're going to Norwich as well and you see either Miles or your right, come over and say hello. Yeah. I'll, I'll buy you a shandy. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm staying up there. Do you know what? I did actually turn around to the missus and so I, I sort of said to her, we could go up there as a city break and yeah. sort of, you know, have a wander around Norwich, the city. I go to the football because it's, it's at the minute it's a, Saturday game, isn't it? But I think depending upon our progress, yeah. If if, if we win, it goes to Sunday. Yeah, it's a yeah. Sunday game. Yeah, so I'm sort of keeping my eye on that. But oh. it it might be that I might sort of try and keep in the wife's good books. But you know, sort of do, oh, do uh, Elliot went to the game. Well, what, I weren't expecting that result, Elliot. I'm not. I'm not no. going to say it. after Burnley get beaten Everton. I really weren't expecting that result. No, I wasn't. I to be honest with you, I thought that Burnley would grind it out. But mm. fair play to Norwich. They're 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 keeping they're keeping it alive. I mean, I'll be I'll be perfectly honest. I think it's going to be in vain. I'll be brutally honest. I Tell you what, though, Gatesy, the White McNeil, the White McNeil, I'll be all over that in the summer. Do you know what? I was having this conversation, I think, with my son, and he asked, "Is there any players from Burnley that you'd take?" And I went, "Dwight McNeil, Brown Hill, possibly Nick Pope, Brown Hill um, as well. Brown, I'm a Brown Hill's a possibility." Other than that, I would take. I would. I would take. I would, I, would ta- I would take Ben Mee or Talkovsky as well. I think they are decent. To be hmm. fair, uh, they, they, they've got some decent players. Would you take Cornet? Yeah, I'll take their striker as well. <laughs> what about Veghorst? <laughs> he's, he's done nothing for them, really, has he? I think he's got one goal in about fourteen games. He's a good player, though. A good player. We'll get him would on the cheap. Do you think he'd fit in our style of football, though? Plan B. We mm. haven't got Plan B. Yeah, we, we was going to say, we <laughs> yeah. keep on doing Plan A. Um, yeah. Hench chipped in. He reckons Charlie Taylor would be a good shout. Yeah, how old's he now? He's got to be mid-20s, I think. Isn't he? I think 27, there 28, I think. I will find yeah, out. Yeah, he's a good, he's a decent, he's got a good, good, uh, good left foot on him. Charlie Taylor. Uh, and of course, uh, there's bloody loads of them here on Wikipedia. <laughs> Hang on. Let me scroll down. I'm guessing that's the fella there. Charlie Taylor is 28. Hmm. So he's got a good yeah. level of experience in the Premier League. So if he goes, if they go down, good cover for a couple of years, him and Creswell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, decent, that's a good shot, Ten. Decent Kent. idea, Kent. Um, Tom says, I think I asked that last week. Tarkovsky, if free, Pope and McNeil. He's, he's, he's agreed with me and Pope and McNeil. Yeah. Like it. Um, Elliot says, Lee's Malou scored and Pookie scored. Yes, I'm aware of that yeah. one, Elliot. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I'm right. I suppose I better do my yeah. score prediction, hadn't I? Because yeah. you've yeah. got me for another five minutes and then I need you, to go. You, you're not You're not going to like this. Okay. Well, probably your stress levels will go up. You, I think it's going to penalties. <sighs> I think it's a 2-2 draw after extra time. Who's scoring? Bowen. Yeah. And Dawson, Bowen and Dawson, Virgil Van Dawson's Dawson's one will be the equaliser to take it into extra time two two. I think we're going to go deep into into the match two one down. He's going to pop up set piece. Don't know if it's going to be a free kick or a corner, but he's going to pop up. He's going to come storming through, get his nut on the ball, bang, back in the net. It will go through extra time, and and let's be honest about it. Penalties, it could go either way. It, it seriously could go either way. You know, someone slips, someone, sort of the goalkeeper misjudges it. Goalkeeper makes a save. Who knows? All all sorts of things. You get to a penalty shootout, you might as well toss a coin. You really yeah. might as well. Um, are we going to go through? 
I hope so. I, I, I would. I wouldn't be going all the way to Leon if I if I thought that it was going to be a waste of time. No, I'm feeling I think positive. We've got a chance. I'm positive we're going to get it. So, Bobby Moore's birthday. Yes, he'd have been 81 today. Absolutely crazy. He was 51 when he passed on. He was going on towards his 52nd birthday, I believe. And Mad, yeah, it? legend of the game. And and I never saw him play. I never <sighs> saw him play. Um, my dad saw him plenty. I never saw him play. But even my daughter at the age of 14, she wasn't conceived until many years after Bobby Moore passed on. My daughter knows who Bobby Moore is. Mm. My my daughter knows the legend of Bobby Moore. Um, mm-hmm. If you offer me penalties now, I take it, says Mister Burford. No, I yeah, agree. listen, a way a, if we can grind it out and get. They've not got their first choice goalkeeper either. Goes. Not got yep. their first. And Ariola's French. There you go. <laughs> oh, Chelsea are one nil up at half time. Oh, because they get they they were three one down from the first leg. Mm. Okay, interesting. Now you need another goal. Luke, hope you are well. Um, Elliot says he's clearing off in, well, basically two minutes. Um, yeah, uh, that's where I need to shoot off. I'm, I'm... That's cool. I saw him play for us and against us, so that would have been for Fulham, I'm guessing. Um, and Peach is saying hello to Luke. Okay, right. I think we're going to wrap it up there. And uh, listen. Safe travels, Mr. On. Gates. Safe yeah, travel. It, listen, I... I booked it knowing that I might not get into the stadium. Are you even going to try it? Are you going to even try it? I don't know. Because I've I've, I've heard fines. I don't know whether they're just to scare people off, but is it, is it, is is it really worth it? That's, that's the thing I'm sort of weighing up. But as I say, I, I booked this knowing that I might not. And I still went and put my hand in my pocket and just went, I'll see what happens. To be honest with you, I just wanted to be in and amongst it, you know, amongst the West Ham fans in a European game. Look, it, it could be. I hope it. I hope it's not, but it could be another. Well, my mates went out to Seville and they said it was a good then. atmosphere. There was a good yeah. atmosphere. All West Ham together. You can't grumble. So no, no, absolutely, absolutely. I'm I, and I will enjoy it. I will enjoy it, Walshy. Obviously, it will be better if we win it will be better if we progress to a semi-final of a european i can't believe i'm saying this possibly against barcelona possibly barcelona we're coming for you i can't believe i'm saying it honestly um city win the fa cup nobles last game last home game gets moved is that correct yeah so it's already been moved to half four on the sunday and the fa cup gets played a week before now the, right. Before the Premier League finishes, okay. so we'll be playing it like the Man United. We'll potentially be playing it on a Wednesday before the Premier League. But either way, he'll get the send off he deserves. He'll he'll get a send off. To be honest, on that day, the 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 result is kind of an irrelevance. I know yeah. it might be that we're needing three points if we if we're still at that point looking to mm. qualify via league placing. But to be honest with you. Does anybody really expect us to beat Manchester City, who could be going for the league at that point and need the three points for a different reason? No. I'm not so sure. And even if we didn't win and we got beat and beat bad, and let's be honest, City have turned up quite a few times over the last few seasons and and put several past us. But mm. on that day, even if we got done five nil, it's like, look, this is Mark Noble's day. He's been at the club for. All these years, and this, this whatever happens, this is our opportunity to say thank you. And as a player, goodbye. But it won't be goodbye for long, I'm fairly sure. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there, my friend. As I say, thanks for coming on. Thanks no, to you welcome. guys in the live chat for getting involved. Really do appreciate it. If you could do me one favour before you all clear off, uh, as it says there, please don't forget to like the stream comment on it not just in in the live chat but actually on the little bit below um the stream itself share this on your social media platforms if you've got your tiktok if you've got your facebook if you've got twitter instagram all of that put our you our channel url url on there and ask your friends to give us a follow and all the rest of it um and hit that bell icon and as soon as we go live you'll you'll know all about it anyway milesy 
what are we, mate? We are fucking massive. Take care, everyone, and make sure you stay safe for anyone who's going out there. Come on, you irons. Stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.